Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to let my Patreon members know the videos that are going to be going up for August. They are here on the screen. They are juicy. They are good. They are things that I would never be allowed to talk about on YouTube. I will leave that link in the description down below. All you have to do is click on the link and I'll take you directly to the videos if you want to watch them or if you're not a member and want to sign up, it'll all be in the description. <music> Hey you guys, so I am really sorry. I haven't had a vlog up for like a week. Um, and normally I post three days a week on this channel. I'm gonna kind of fill you in and let you know what's been going on because a lot has been going on. Um, so I actually have good excuse to not be filming and uploading. Um, and first and foremost, let's just get into my eight week ultrasound and why I didn't post that video. So. What happened was I vlogged that day um, like I normally would uh, and when I got into my ultrasound something happened um, and then I was like <laughs> it kind of like threw me for a loop um, basically the reason you guys didn't see the eight week ultrasound footage is because I wasn't recording so I was in the appointment filming like I normally do with my camera <laughs> Um, but I forgot to press record and I was so disappointed and upset because it was the first time that we got to hear, well, we, I got to hear the heartbeat. Um, and it was really good. Like the appointment went amazing. Everything looked good. He's still measuring a little, like a couple days behind, but his heartbeat was really good. It was 164. So it was nice and strong. The doctor was really happy. Um, she even said like, he's a fighter, <laughs> um, but still no exercise, no intercourse. Um, and you know, basically all the same stuff. I'm still on all my medication. They were supposed to be weaning me off, but because my levels are still kind of low, they have me still on everything. Um, and I'm also back on bed rest um, because I've been spotting and cramping a lot and I've been having a lot of pain, um, which I'm not really sure why. We did see a lot of like kind of blood around the uterus she said it's totally normal. I asked like what could be causing it. She said um, IVF sometimes just, that just is normal. So um, I'm assuming, I'm just listening to my doctor assuming it's normal and that's probably what's causing my pain. So yeah, but I've just been taking it easy. I, I, I recognize that when I am up and moving around and doing a bunch of stuff and picking up snow um, that my pain gets worse. So I know like moving around just exasperates it so i've just been like really taking easy laying down and not doing much um that's not the reason why i haven't been filming because i would still like at least give you guys updates and stuff um so yeah i was really upset and disappointed that i wasn't recording that appointment not so much to put it on youtube but mainly because travis is not allowed to these appointments with me and it was just really disappointing and like it's just hard because that was such a special thing to hear the heartbeat for the first time and I really wanted to capture that for him so he could experience that. Um, and I was just really sad that I didn't get it. Uh, but that's okay because I go in in a couple days for my nine week ultrasound and I'm gonna make sure I press record this time and hopefully they'll let me listen to the heartbeat again and hopefully everything will look okay. So everything's good with baby pregnancy everything's going well um i have definitely been having pregnancy symptoms i've been nauseous um you know dizzy um you know all the things <laughs> like my boobs are huge and sore um but yeah so that's kind of what's going on with the whole pregnancy thing everything looks good everything is fine um and the reason i haven't been filming is because i've been dealing with some like serious mental health issues and I feel like that's like gonna be its whole own video where I talk about that because I think it's, it's something important to like discuss and talk about I don't think it's talked about enough um, and yeah um, the other thing is like as you guys know we're trying to sell our house so we've just been um, you know dealing with a lot of that stuff people in and out of our house and trying to keep our house clean with a toddler is like impossible um, and also I've been having to make the decision whether or not I want to have an OBGYN or a midwife 
last time I did an OBGYN, I feel like um, I not have the best experience. He wasn't a bad doctor, but like, I just feel like there was a lot of things that like I tried to talk to him about that I just didn't feel like he spent very much time with me to like kind of know what was going on and like try to help me like solve problems I was having. Like, so this pregnancy, my mental health stuff is totally different than it was my last pregnancy. I am having more anxiety, but it's not like it was last time, at least not yet, thank God. Um, I'm dealing with other mental health stuff, but um, I had such severe anxiety the last time and I told my doctor and it was like really affecting me a lot um, to the point where like I wouldn't leave my house and I was just like, it, it couldn't have been good for the baby at all. Like I know that it wasn't, I was having like full blown panic attacks, like one after another, like it was just not good. And I feel like I should have been medicated, um, like a safe medication that you can take when you're pregnant for that. And actually the doula I had at the time was like, go to your doctor, like tell them to give you medication, you need it. Um, and I went to my doctor and he wouldn't give me anything. And then I went to like my primary care doctor and she wouldn't give me anything. So um, I just feel like maybe a midwife, even though they can't prescribe medication, I think maybe they'll be able to like listen to me more. And as long as I'm not like a high risk pregnancy, um, which I'm gonna make sure and find, I don't think that I am, but I'm gonna make sure and find out from my fertility doctor, if it's safe for me to have like a midwife and you know, whatever. Cause like technically my pregnancy with snow went really well. Like I, um, you know, had a vaginal birth, um, even though it was miserable, my epidural didn't work and she kind of got stuck towards the end. They had to like pull her out and I had third degree tear. Um, other than that, like everything kind of went like it was supposed to. Although I did gain, like it was like 60 or 70 pounds and, um, I had like a lot of swelling and I just wasn't feeling well. And I think that I probably had some issues going on that were um, not being treated or even known about because my doctor didn't spend enough time with me to kind of figure out what was going on, even though I was like, you know, telling him that I was having these problems and he just kind of like wrote them off. So um, I just figure like at the, at the very end, if I chicken out and I don't want to like, you know, have a natural birth, um, I can always just go to the hospital, you know? Like, so, um. Hi, do you wanna say hi? <laughs> they can see you. <laughs> these chairs, these freaking chairs. Those chairs are awful. <laughs> um, so we actually have an appointment, like, coming, we actually need to wake up snow, because we What if you woke up like this on Wednesday? God, you kind of do the muscle That's thing, it. I just know it. I mean, you are pretty buff. Oh. I love you too, honey. Almost as much as my cup of coffee right here. Hey, guys. Um, <laughs> what are we talking about? Um, just Vaginas? all the things, all the things about pregnancy and life and the bloating, the gas, the oh, constipation, I had so the much cramps, gas. the headaches, the um, the drainage. If you know what I mean, like, I mean, oh let's, be, let's be real, let's be honest. The acne, the back knee, I don't have back knee. <laughs> <laughs> Or acne. Thankfully, those are not things I've had to do. I did no. have a little bit of a breakout, but like it went away when I used my magic moisturizer. Whatever you guys, whatever pregnancy stuff that you guys want to know about, let me know. I will give good, smart, intelligent advice. I'm very knowledgeable with a lot of chicks. Yeah, stuff. he is. Like way more than the average dude. I was gonna say way more than the average Joe, but then that would be taking offense to like Joe, and I don't need to be mean to any Joes out there. So. So right now we actually have an appointment to go meet with a midwife and tour a birthing center. It's not in a hospital. It's like their own birthing center. So we're going to go do that and see if they're a good fit. Um, and yeah, kind of just like have a midwife. And if worse comes to worse, I can always just get a doctor or have both or, you know, whatever. So, but I do want to try the midwife thing because I haven't tried it before. Um, as long as like my pregnancy is like healthy and normal. Um, mm -hmm. If it's not, then obviously I'll go to a doctor. Yeah, and, and we're gonna ask them too, you know, if like we're if you're even a candidate, right? Yeah. For for it, they may just say, "E, I, I don't know, I'd, I'd probably rather not," but we'll find out. Like, yeah, we'll find out know today. So and all this stuff. So yeah, so um, we're gonna go do that, and then we will catch up with you guys and let you know what happens. Right after I eat this delicious lunch. Did you show them what we made you? Oh, by the way, uh, yeah, there's maybe. only like half avocado in there because that's the end of it. So. Mmm, so good. 
Mm. So good. It's like I even cut it into four little baby pieces. I know, he's you know so when you're cute. a kid, you make him cut them into little pieces. So it's like it's all vegan, but he like buttered the outside of the toast. So it's like grilled cheese with like cheese, turkey, and avocado like melt. So good. And I'm about to get some hot sauce to dip it in because that sounds really yummy. Oh, were you eating strawberries? So, I don't want you to get upset. Come here. Because... Mom. I know, Mom. Mom. Here. Can you open it? Is that a little baby? Is that your brother? What do you think? Right there. <laughs> so I accidentally did not record the appointment. Okay. So I was recording it, but I forgot to hit the record button. Okay. Um, because I got to hear his heartbeat for the first time and I'm so sad because you didn't get to hear it and hear it on camera. Well, that's okay. But he had a really strong heartbeat. It was 164. Hey, hey. Oh. oh no. All right. Sorry. Um, so it's. Hold on. Oh, do you love shoes? Are you gonna put the shoes on? <laughs> wow. So what I was okay, saying. Okay, so that that that's fine. I, I'm more of like what what like the real details. Yeah, like everything. Obviously, like I, I'm, you know, not gonna be super like mad and upset about it or something like that. As long as like everything is okay. Yes, baby okay, is so that's growing. What, that's what I care about. I mean, obviously it would be nice, but considering everything and you're going by yourself and you're you know nervous and you're trying to like think about everything and do about everything. Wow. <laughs> you don't even have a hand straight. Shoes. 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 It would have been really special for you to be at that appointment. Okay, stand up. <laughs> She's so happy. Um, yeah, well, are the, what was the deal with this, like, stuff going on. I mean, are they going to start letting like people go or what's going on? No. <laughs> so she said he's a little fighter. She also said no exercise, no intercourse. Um, well, we can't anyways because we still have to do the the suppository stuff. Oh, speaking of that, I need to take my medicine, yeah. So, yeah, so basically, um, baby's growing. He looked so, so cute and his little heartbeat. Like she's saying like he's a fighter from before or like he's still like, it's still in the scary Well, no, range. it's not in the scary range. She's just overly cautious with me because of how everything unfolded. They didn't think like. At the beginning. Yeah, they didn't think like he was gonna survive. And so she just, you know, calls him a fighter and says, you know, she's like, super happy with everything and how he's growing and that he has a strong heartbeat and everything but she's just wanting to stay overly cautious still doesn't want me to exercise wants me to take it easy and so now at the time where we're at because oh time frame in eight weeks and all stuff it looks totally normal or they're still saying that they think he's a little bit a couple days behind he's still yeah like they said he still is measuring a couple days behind but that he could catch up later on and that everything looks great um, I did have some blood around, like, in the uterus, um, but she says that's normal, like, it, that just happened. In the spotting? Um, yeah, so she said, asked about that. well, I didn't ask about that because my spotting's kind of off and on. Right, so you didn't bring it up to them? I talked to my nurse about it. I just know that it was a big worry for you, like, day after day after day, and so that's why, you know. Yeah, well, uh, she wants me to continue to take it easy, so. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. But you are just the cutest. <laughs> you are well, so cute. You do a lot better in regular shoes, but I know the boots are harder. Boots. <laughs>
Oh my god, I love you, Snow. We just got back from our midwives appointment really well. I hired them like on the spot. Um, I'll make a whole video like kind of dedicated to why I chose um, to have a midwife over an OBGYN. Um, not that I think one is better than the other. I just want to try a different experience this time, but I'll go more into detail um, in a future video. But yeah, everything went well. And now I'm just having some more food. And then I'm gonna jump in the shower, take up all this, take up, take off all this makeup, and then um, go back on my bed rest. I will have my nine week um, ultrasound where I'm gonna make sure to film this time. So definitely stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for um, my midwife video and also for my video about dealing with mental health and pregnancy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I'll see you in my next video.